I'm Carol Crumley, Senior Program Director for Shalem Institute for Spiritual Formation, and I'm here today with the Reverend Dr. Cynthia Bergeau, who may be known to you as author, scholar, Episcopal priest, internationally known retreat leader, and champion of the contemplative path, of the Christian contemplative path for today. But we're here today to talk about this book, Cynthia's newest book, The Meaning of Mary Magdalene. So, Cynthia, what is this book all about? Well, uh, thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's about Mary Magdalene. But it's about Mary Magdalene in her threefold interlocking roles as uh, apostle, mm -hmm. as intimate friend of Jesus, and as purveyor of sacred wisdom. And the point of the book is that you can't separate the three. People have been trying to do that for years and only concentrating on one thread or another. But when you put the three back together, what emerges is an astonishing new picture of Mary Magdalene, but an even more astonishing picture of Christianity, a picture that promises to address and heal some of Christianity's notorious wounds in the areas of human intimacy and sexual maturity, and also to put forth a bold new vision of human wisdom and human mystical wisdom. And I think I'd say incidentally that it's a vision that I first learned on the contemplative path. And it's a vision that schools such as Shalem have been so faithful in preparing people to understand and to live. You know, I think Karl Rahner once said that in the 21st century we'll be mystics and contemplatives or there'll be no Christianity. Amen to that. Amen to that. And that's what this book is picking up. It's because it's that consciousness that emerges when you put those three roles together. Well, you know, you're here to uh, be part of Shalem's new series, Contemplative Voices for the 21st Century. And it seems to me like we're going to hear your voice and the voice of Mary Magdalene in this talk and through your writings and in this book. But what is one thing that you would hope people would take away from the book? Well, I hope they take away what I, what's one of my favorite sayings that comes from G.K. Chesterton. Christianity isn't a failure, it just hasn't been tried yet. And there has been certainly a, a malaise at the center of it a cognitive dissonance, if you want to say so. Uh, and if you can peel away 2,000 years of doctrine and, and dogma and uh, tradition chasing its tail, what is there to be found is extraordinary models of men and women working together in spiritual partnership, uh, relational health, uh, and a Christianity whose touchstones are in compassion and wisdom rather than in judgment and guilt. Uh, so I think to restore Mary Magdalene is to restore Christianity because until you can find a way to put her into the picture, our picture as Christianity is significantly skewed. Well, we are so delighted to have you back at Shalane. So we look forward to this talk and to the many who will be discussing your book in the days ahead. Well, Thank great. you, Cynthia. Thank you for having me.